Okay, I know, I know. It is so fed up with the way things are just going, like everything is kind of just so difficult and complicating, like, you know, we don't even know what to do anymore. So if you're watching this video, I'm almost sure that you are one of those people that are tired of the way the economy is going, or maybe you've sent your CV to like a thousand people and still haven't gotten even one reply. Or maybe you have some kind of talent or skill you've always wanted to invest in and make money out of, or you might even have a job maybe a business but you just want to build a secondary income source but you know you can't put all your eggs in one basket it's risky so whichever you are you are welcome if this is your first time on this channel my name is Harris Kari and today I'm gonna to be talking about 10 ways you can make money online legally in Nigeria okay the year 2019 is already at the door and the year 2020 is kind of coming right now and people are still wondering on how to start making money online in fact one of the most searched term on Google today is how to make money online Everyone wants to make money, but not everyone is willing to put the work in to get the money. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. If you're one of those people who are always looking for a quick overnight money making scheme, then I'm afraid this video ain't for you. But if you're someone who is willing to put in the work and earn a couple of bucks for himself, this video is for you. Put it right there. So without wasting much of our time, I'll just jump into it. Before we start, this video is going to be very brief because I don't want to take much time explaining every single one of them so I'm just gonna do like an individual video for each and every one of them explaining more about them and also click the like button if you're already enjoying this video and also click the subscribe button so you can watch all the other videos that I post 10 videos wow so number 10 on my list is freelance work most times people see freelancing as a kind of a job or maybe you know you work for someone but this is entirely different freelancing is more like a one-time service one-time contract to your employer or maybe your client or whatever you call them you know someone just finds you based on what you do and they I give you work so you just collect the work do the work submit to them and get paid instantly it's not like you know you work and get paid at the end of the month or maybe at the end of the week or something this is an instant payment it's that easy you know writers do this photographers do this artists do this you know for freelancing you can always check websites like fiverr.com upwork and number nine is voiceovers when it comes to voiceovers you know in this time like there are a lot of cartoons coming out animations even games directors looking for people to talk bring in voice into their game and everything so you can just check some websites you know they can just do your voice ad you know kind of advertise yourself just do a voice over and just post it there websites like voices.com voices.com is like a platform and a hub for all these voiceover people and uh, people really get contracts from there for commercials, ads, cartoons. You too can be part of that. Number eight, drop shipping. Drop shipping is basically you advertising someone else's product on your own website with your profit and then someone eventually finding the product on your website based on the way you market and everything then ordering it from you and you now buy the product from the actual supplier that you are advertising the product for then the supplier ships the product directly to the customer you keep your profit and you guys live happily ever after number seven Amazon FBA Amazon FBA is almost like drop shipping, but it's kind of different in a way because in this case you'll find a manufacturer online that will produce your products under your own brand name. So they will now ship your products to one of the Amazon warehouses based on where you pick. Then you now market your product yourself maybe on Amazon anywhere you want and anytime someone orders you just forward the details to them they just ship the products directly to the person without you having to go through any work yours is more like the branding and the marketing and that's all number six binary option or stock marketing so if you always watch movies and you see all those kind of stocks going up and down that you always find kind of confusing you know you have no idea what they are so this is binary option or maybe stock marketing I won't even try to explain this one because uh, it's very complicated. I'll just post the links in my description and you guys can just go check the website. Like for everything I'm talking about today, you need to browse and learn before you start. Number five, selling stock images and videos. This one's for my photography people. You know, people always snap pictures, record videos, but always wonder what they can do with all those pictures and videos that they always store on their phones and hard drives and everything. Like, you know, they don't even use them. FYI, you can sell them. There are websites that literally pay you for snapping pictures. You sell your pictures to other people. You snap pictures, nice pictures. You can use a camera, you can use your phone. If you have a phone with a good camera, you can just snap pictures with your phone post them there, make money out of them. The reason I set a phone with a good camera is they kind of have requirements for pictures like focus and all those kind of things. You need to have them intact. You need to have them accurate before they 
you take your picture. So sometimes you might post some pictures and they might reject them. So they'll tell you the reasons. Maybe it might be kind of infringement, posting someone else's content, someone else's private property and all those things. But you can just do it. You can sell your pictures, you can sell your videos. Just start doing it right now. There are websites like Shutterstock, Getty Image, uh, Pond5. There are a lot of them, so I just post the links in my description so you can just go check them out after the video. Number four, podcast. So what's a podcast? Podcast is more like just an audio recording of maybe you or maybe you and someone that you post regularly talking about something. It doesn't have to be something, you know, technical or something. You can just start audio recording yourselves like you know you and your friend talking about something and just post you have no idea who might be listening to that and who might love it so there are a lot of apps that you can use to start your podcast right now on your mobile phones and apps like anchor you can use anchor to just you know record podcasts with your friend from a long distance you know you can just go on the app invite your friend just start recording you guys will be talking like maybe you're on the phone or something but the thing will record with the podcast quality and everything so once you're done you can just go through see what you want to change in the audio and everything so you can just post and uh, you have a podcast number three affiliate marketing affiliate marketing is one of my best ways of making money online right now because affiliate marketing gives you the opportunity to just advertise other people's products and get your commission when you get a sale it's almost like drop shipping but this one it's more like uh, just give them the link instead of showing the product. They click on the link. As long as they buy through your link, you get paid commission for bringing people into the website. For example, now you sell something worth like $50 and maybe they pay you like 50% of what you sold. That would be like $25 and uh, $25 just from one sale. So just for example, now you, you get like 10 sales. That's like, uh, you do the math. $250, $250 from 10 sales. There are a lot of affiliate websites out there that people go out there to get affiliate links and just post it in different places and just get commission for payment. Websites like JVZoo, Digistore24, uh, ClickBank, well, I won't really advise you to go over ClickBank because ClickBank is kind of like the biggest and largest affiliate marketing website, but they kind of have a restriction for Nigerians and you know, not just Nigeria, like India, Pakistan, all those countries. I still have no idea why they have restrictions for them, but anyway, you can just manage the ones you have. There are a lot of other affiliate websites that you can just use. Number two, a blog. I know everybody knows what a blog is. So how do you start a blog? There are a lot of websites that you can just go to, just build your blog site, just start posting blogs. You can always link people to your affiliate links and uh, your dropshipping link, FBA. You can link them from uh, your blog site to any one of those because they'll be reading something and you can just advertise something by the side, maybe in between some of the lines. Eventually people click and they'll go buy something from your website. So that's kind of a win-win for you. And number one, the last but not the least, social media marketing. You know, nowadays people don't really understand that they don't actually use social media. Rather, social media uses people. Because social media isn't just meant for interacting with your family and friends, it's also meant for business. You can also expand your business, you know, through social media, sell your products, even though a lot of people are doing it right now. A lot of people too are not doing that. They're just going on there, browsing through what's happening here, check the latest gossip, check um, who's being impeached. Well, the people we are busy watching actually started from scratch too. They actually started from zero followers and they kind of built their followers. It just depends on the kind of contents you share with people because uh, social media marketing people actually become influencers with time, build their brand, you know, show their face, show what they do and people like them for that and they now follow them and they can sell their products to them because they trust them. It covers everything that I talked about today. It's very powerful. It depends on how you use it. Let me just say this. A lot of people have made massive empires using these kind of side hustles that eventually became their main hustle. You know, people who created businesses out of these things that I just listed. You too can implement any one of these. Advisably, I'll tell you to try each and every one of them or just try each and every one that you think you can do you don't have to push yourself to do everything all at the same time but you just do you you don't be like me just do you and if you're like me just be you do you so that'll be the end of my today's video and uh if you got a lot of value from this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell beside the subscribe button right there and click all so you get notifications from youtube anytime i post any video and uh you'll be the first to watch the video so we can discuss i'm always open to discussions i always reply to every single one of my comments so we'll talk see you in the next video